Hey YouTube world, it's Ryan from Resell CMY. I'm back with another video here. Just gonna go over some eBay sales that we had from uh, yesterday, which was Thursday, I think March 10th. Uh, decent day, we ended up with 13 orders going out for $493.42. Again, Paul isn't with me. He had a round of chemo yesterday. He's actually feeling pretty good, comparatively speaking, at least the other times he's got it. Um, usually the next morning is pretty rough for him, but he seems to be doing somewhat better today than, uh, than previous times. So it's just me again. You're stuck with just me. I'm just going to go over the sales real quick. Should be a pretty quick video. I uh, have one really interesting one that I was pretty amazed that uh, the auction went as well as it did. The first sale here is going to be a, a multiple uh, item order. We got Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd salt and pepper shakers here. These sold for $9 plus shipping. And then we got... Uh, Foghorn, Leghorn, and Henry Hawk, and these sold for, I think, $17 plus shipping. So we'll combine these orders, or combine the order, refund the uh, shipping difference. And, uh, yeah, it's always good to get multiples out of those. I think uh, both of those were just listed last week. Okay, the uh, interesting one is going to be right now. Okay, this sold for $212.49 at auction. And all it was was 10 of these little tiny picture frames. Clearly vintage. No, no markings that we could determine. I mean, there's just, this one's a little tiny bit bigger. And they're not even like, you know, 100% complete. Some of them are just pieces. We just took pictures and said, this is what you get. Um, it's quite a few that have like these jewel looking pieces around the outside. And, you know, I wish Paul was here because he listed these and he decided to go to auction. That one actually has a picture in it. He decided to go to auction with these. So I don't know exactly what he was seeing but his whatever intuition he had there was correct. I think he put him at $20 to start an auction and within you know 20 30 minutes we knew we had something there or here. Here's just two yeah. Oh, that's to the same same thing here. That one and then this one doesn't have jewels, it's like a... So I don't know how well you can see those. Um, you can see in the screenshot over 200 bucks. So that was fantastic. I mean, something that we could have guessed, you know, 30, 40 dollars goes for 200. That was completely outside of our knowledge that base there. So if anyone knows anything more about those, so we're not just looking for every old picture frame, then fill us in a little bit on why those went so good. Next is this vintage Pepsi crate. It's got three planks on the bottom. It's gray with red paint. Has the number 16 on either side. Pretty good condition. I didn't really clean it up too much other than just wiping the dust out. This sold, it's 18 inches by 12 inches by four and a half high. This sold for $20 plus shipping. We have two other ones, uh, neither of them are that style though. Both of them I, I think that are left are local pieces from Elmira, New York. Alright, next thing here, we got a quantity of two going out. Two Garfield mini stamps here. I believe they say I hate Mondays. It's mentioned in the description that we don't know if they actually work still because the ink dries up. But those stamps sold combined $14.70 plus shipping. So I think I'll have to refund a little shipping on that one as well. And then we have another salt and pepper shaker going out here. This is uh, Foghorn, Leghorn, and Henry Hawk again. $18 plus shipping. 
I think on the other one, we ended up taking like 15 or something. I said 17. I think we took 15. I can't see it on the thing. Uh, just because they had bought both of them. Okay, another little lot here that Paul put together. These are uh, Rust Trolls. You can see like a reindeer one. And then just a whole bunch of... Well, there's two Santa Claus ones. Um, are they the same? I think they're the same. And then a whole bunch of reindeer ones. We had one reindeer one that had green hair. And three that had red hair. They all have their tags on them still from McCurdy's. Uh, he just lotted up all six of those for $20 plus shipping. It's actually going to a repeat buyer. I'll make sure it's not someone that bought something yesterday. No. Yeah, so a repeat buyer from some time before. So that was pretty cool. $20 plus shipping on those. And not bad for March, considering that they're all Christmas-related items. Next, we have this Westinghouse AC Vol uh, gauge here. I don't know how well you can see that. Just something that came in a big electronics buy that we had. This sold for $15 with free shipping. Probably costs like four and a half dollars to ship. So we'll probably make like 10 bucks on this. And then yesterday I did a video that had this same exact ornament in it. This is the last one because we did have a quantity of two. So has the tags and stuff on the back. These were $50 originally. That's crazy to me. This is Yadro number 5841 Snowman, obviously. $8.50 plus shipping on this one. Another ornament in March. And then we have this Ron Lee. It's a clown kind of figurine statue, Shorty and Fleas. 1985 is this. We had a quantity of two of these as well. Um, one of them sold $12.50 plus shipping. Those ones don't go, I mean, we're had the same with like Norman Rockwell with those, like just really happy when one goes out the door. Um, next here, we got this new Ninja Turtles lunch bag here for kids. I think it says Nickelodeon on it somewhere. Or maybe Paul just used that as a keyword. I don't know. Paul left, listed this for sure. New with tags, unused. $9.19 plus shipping, so that must be in our 8% off sale. Happy that's going on here. When something's been listed for, you know, three months and it's had zero activity and then it sells, it's always a good feeling. And the last two things here are record albums. First one here is this Bee Gees. This is new sealed. Uh, what's it called? Spirits Having Flown. Brand new sealed. Eleven dollars free shipping, so we'll have to make we'll make like seven on this. Probably would have make a little bit more, but if you see this, keep an eye out for that notch or similar notches, uh, or like a punched hole. Um, I guess back in the day they would notch these out if they were gonna go on deep deep discount. That way, someone couldn't buy them for super cheap, put them in their record store, and sell them for more. Um, so they would notch it out. So somewhere in there, the description, I believe, I put notch jacket. And then Paul, when he did the pictures for it, he'd take a picture of that. And then the last one here is the Stray Cats, Rant and Rave. This was open, not new sealed. This also sold for $11, free shipping. This one did not, yeah, this one did not have a notched jacket. Again, we'll make like $7 on that. Um, that's it for sales, you guys. See, nothing nothing came through. So I mainly wanted to show you guys those frames in that video. And maybe you guys can fill me in a little bit on, on why exactly those went for that much. They did come from Dan's. Um, they were in this barbershop dirty bag, which I think originally just had like a shaving kit and, or personal hygiene type items in there. And they were just all lotted up inside here. So... Yeah, that's that's it for the sales. Um, happy with that one. It's like 11 o'clock on Friday. Um, I'm going to go down and ship all this stuff out, make sure it gets out before the weekend. So thank you guys very much. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll have Paul's daughter end the video for us. Thank you. Say resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe.
Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.